They have to find the shooters, find transition shots, get to the shooters early. But for Georgia Tech, playing aggressive D, Coach Fortner said this is the first time she's playing an aggressive man-to-man -man for most of the game a few times just, in my playing career. Twice, yeah, that that sure. happens to me still at home <laughs> when I just hit walls, but not paying attention. <laughs> Tony Morgan, will she push pace? Kick out. Augusta Neta, a three-pointer. <laughs> She's got the celebration down pat. I mean, she locks it in. A lockdown shooter for Georgia Tech, something we haven't seen for them in quite some time. But the freshman can shoot with the best of them. And that shot a little too strong at the back iron there from Jada Session, junior from Locust Grove, just about 40 miles south here of McCamish Pavilion. And Tony Morgan, another quick bucket. Furman is cold here from the start, a 7-0 run for Georgia Tech. Morgan up and under, a little jelly on that slice of toast. And Furman just unable to get a paint touch here in this possession. Under 10 seconds to shoot. This time Session takes it in herself. What a spin and the bucket. And that's a good the traits he learned or his experience as a player and coach into this team in his first year. At the end of the shot clock, Sidney Johnson with the ice. Morgan curling in, kicking out Carter. Count it. Well, that's the way to get you out of the zone. Liz Kidley for ACC Player of the Year. Yeah, Georgia Tech will host Notre Dame right here on this floor, February 1st. That'll be a big night. First possession for the Yellow Jackets in the second half. Not a true center for any team, just a lot of speed and quickness. And I think that's what you can expect. Is, oh, and there's Noredo. The Euro. Oh. Shimmy. I'm telling you, the sophomore, that was a move quite in the first half, but she's starting to make some noise. Swatted away on the back end. Here come the Yellow Jackets looking to really blow it open here. Morgan, high scoop with the left. And then, like you said, the key word, the depth, she's able to do it because she has a deeper roster to bring fresh bodies in and out, to play fast pace, and, you know, can give up some fouls here or there because she has the talent on the bench to bring into the game. They both played on the Spanish national team back in their home country. Laredo dials up a three and buries it on their 11th attempt <laughs> connects from deep. Well, sometimes all you need is one. Maybe this will get them hot, but now it looks like a three-point barrage. Carter. Little floater pass down to Thomas Harris. The freshman hoists it high and she gets the roll. I mean, she's confident to the talent level of playing collegiate basketball. And she's just being her blind jump shot. And that's something that you have to have in your arsenal, especially in ACC play. It's not a game of banging anymore. Nope. Long three. Oh, and it swirls home. Cindy Ryan. <laughs> wow. Yellow Jackets ahead by 27. 10 minutes to play. The Sydney Ryan showcasing some range. People made it in with a lot of youth that's on this squad for Georgia Tech. They needed and transfers. They needed some time to get adjusted with this offense. Yeah, and in some ways, as Blackshear picks up another easy couple. That's the freshman Jada Bediaco collecting the rebound, making her first appearance on the floor this afternoon. Augusta Nate falling oh, away. Shot. Oh man. And she did that exactly right. Almost hit that baseline, but did not a bounds. Kelia looking for a little give and go, perhaps. Sydney James, nice Great fine pass. Jada session. That's a fine assist. Still some work to do, but in their first two games, Georgia Tech has been impressive at home. They've had some active hands and passing lanes. Carter ahead to Morgan. Another two, and she'll have a chance for three. Finishing, she can out run with her speed her defender each time. You see, she was behind Carter, runs past her to collect the pad. Look at that. They were able to defend. They just couldn't score the basketball. And it came down to shooting, too. They had the worst field goal percentage in the ACC, worst three-point percentage in the ACC. And Fallon, those percentages are going to go up when you're trying to score in transition yeah. and get to the rim, right? Yeah, because you have a higher percentage of scoring the basketball. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice move, Thomas Harris. Did you see, like, the shoulder fake in the turn? She lost her defender on that move big time. Not a fun project trying to slow her down. 
Ryan. Ryan Cash, Sydney Ryan. Cash money. She's like, I can do this too. And let me uh, get an extra point on mine with the three. Thurman now four for 20. Beyond the arc, but they've hit three here in the second half. Johnson got it. And you also like it because they're still sharing the basketball. Right now, 20 assists in this game, 24 in their first game. Oh, Ooh. Sydney Johnson. Wide open. And Jada Bidiaco. We'll cut the shot clock here with 15 seconds left. Knocked loose. DeAsia Thomas Harris. The finish, yes. Well, Georgia Tech began the day with two shoes. <laughs> Only one left, but they got two wins.